Brian Ewing, or Atrock, is a well-known Twitch streamer within the industry who is known for previously working at Global Marketing for the website. He is personal friends with a lot of big streamers, to the point where he even co-founded a company with Ludwig called Offbrand, which is why it was surprising when earlier today he made an apology stream for getting caught paying money to go on a website to see deep fake porn of other Twitch streamers, including Pokimane and Maya, who he got caught watching. But the website also includes many other female streamers, including Ludwig's girlfriend. Keep in mind, these are all streamers he personally knows and has done content with before, which is obviously very, very, very bad and inappropriate. But considering what some other Twitch streamers have done in the past, not the worst thing in the world, although his reaction acts like it's literally the worst thing in the world. I have never seen an apology video as emotional as this one. And I've been covering this stuff on YouTube for the last half decade. So let's not waste any more time and get into whatever the hell this is. I'm not trying to get hearts or anything. I really, I, I'm going to talk about it in five minutes. I just don't want too many crazy comments. Everyone here is probably knows what's going on. Uh, I want to say, first of all, that it's true. It's a hundred percent true. Um, I looked at a deep fake, uh, porn video. Um, uh, of streamers. I'm embarrassed. I'm angry at myself. Uh, I, I feel fucking, I just feel so fucking stupid. Before I go into the apology, because I think it feels weird if you use a butt later, I, I just want to say a couple facts. I, I don't know if I should include this or not, but I have the fucking, the receipt thing right here. This, this is, it, which was, it's from the exact same day that that fucking clip is from. All right. There's no, pattern of behavior. It's not months and months and months. It, it was just one video on the same day and I just stupidly left the fucking tab open. And it was at 2 a.m. on the night before when, when Ari was uh, out of town. So I've done a lot on the stream to like create a pattern of behavior where I really want, especially women on Twitch to feel safer. Like I, I we call fucking booba spam cringe. We don't do that there. I've never made like a fucking weird I don't know, seat sniffing joke. I've never done anything like that. I've never done anything like that on this stream. And we don't tolerate any sex behavior in the chat. We ban it on site. And like, I've done this consistently over and over and over. And then fucking at 2 a.m., you know, I've been, I've been watching so much fucking, I've been reading so much fucking AI stuff. I'm reading all this fucking stuff about AI and defake music, defake art and everything. And I'm in these fucking discords. And I was, I just feel so embarrassing to me. But I was on fucking Pornhub, dude. I was on a fucking regular ass normal fucking website. And there was an ad. There's an ad on every fucking video for this fucking... So I know other people must be clicking it. Because it's on every fucking video. For a fucking deepfake thing. And then I click it. And I'm fucking in this fucking rabbit hole. And at 2 a.m. I fucking... I, I don't know. I got morbidly curious. And I click something. And I... and I It's just fucking... It's, it's gross. It's gross. And I'm sorry. I really am. I really fucking am. I hate this drama stuff, and I but I just feel bad. I don't, and I saw some comments from people that are in my community that were uh, that were talking, and they they felt so let down, and it made me feel so fucking sick. So I, I know I'm like joking a lot in this stream, but it does mean a lot to me. Like I put a lot of fucking time into it. I'm sorry. I'm just fucking sorry. I I I don't I don't support this stuff. I don't believe this stuff. I'm not like a fucking advocate in any way. I regret it. I would never do it as long as I live. Like as long as I live, I'll never do anything like this again. It's just too much information. But I'm the most fucking vanilla guy when it comes to anything. Like I, I, we don't do sexual jokes on here. We don't. I just fucking Reddit not safe for work gifts is 99% if I ever do any fucking porn. It's so weird to say. But I, I don't know. I just clicked a fucking link at 2 a.m. And I and it, and. The morals didn't catch up to me, and and uh, I'm sorry. I really, I really fucking am. Brandon always clicks through paywalls, so that wasn't kind of like an obstacle for him. And when he assures me that he'll never do anything like this again, I fully believe that. I feel, I feel like this is just pain, like right in my fucking gut. Like I got punched, and I, I, I just hate that. That's gonna be even associated with me because i don't i don't believe in it i don't stand for it i think it's fucking wrong i don't know uh, there's no excuse uh, I, I i really am sorry I, um and, and i guess most of all to the people in the community that just feel let down because because you mean a lot to me uh, i i don't know uh, i don't think i'll stream uh, I, 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 
I, I, I'm just sad because I was I've been, I've been loving the stream lately. I'm having such a good time, but I don't think I'm gonna stream. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to Japan. Okay, after watching that, I just have so many things to say. First off, it seems he's much more upset that he got caught and looks like a sexual degenerate to the public at large. Rather than apologetic to the people he actually watched fake porn of, he never mentioned their names. He never even said apologies to the people who were supposed to be my friends and I let them down by sexualizing them. None of that. Just I'm sorry to the community and I'm sorry to have my pro-woman message be shattered. It's always these guys that go out of their way to let you know know that they're pro-woman, to say they're a feminist, that always does the sexual degenerate shit. Also clicking on a Pornhub ad and actually putting your credit card information into it, that's just stupid, that's dumb, nobody does that, let alone for porn of your friends that you've actually met in real life and you've helped market it for on Twitch. There was no way Atrioc was not jerking off while doing that job. The excuse of being interested in AI deep fakes and the morbid curiosity of it all doesn't really track. You're on Pornhub when you click the link. You're obviously not doing AI deep fake research. You're trying to get your dick hard and jack off. You're on Pornhub. Pretty sure when you click that link, it was more to jack off rather than to analyze the details of the technology. And this wouldn't be that bad if he was just a small streamer who thought Pokemon was hot, thought Maya was hot, and wanted to pay to jerk off to them. A little weird, considering they don't make OnlyFans content themselves. Maybe just do it to someone who expects you to jerk off to them instead of people who clearly just don't want to do that type of content. Content, but if you don't know him, maybe not that big of a deal, right? But this guy knows these people. He's met these people in real life. He's probably went to a bunch of parties in LA with these people. And it is just porn, but if I were the girls like Pokimane or Maya or Cutie Cinderella or whoever that's on that website and is at the same party as this guy, considering what has happened in the past in the Twitch community with people like Crazy Slick and the whole thing with Kai Senate's friend, I don't know if I would go to those parties anymore if he's there. Obviously paying for deep fake porn is not the same at all as what Crazy Slick did or what other men have done to women at these parties, but considering that the thought of fucking them or jerking off to them is in his mind to such an extent that he would be willing to pay for deep fake porn of you, yeah, I would be very wary of this guy. Not an accusation, just a thought, and honestly I find it hard to believe that he respects women as much as he claims when the apology only consists of him being remorseful for damaging his image rather than towards his friends and peers who unconsensually had to be the subject of his sexual fantasy. Also him saying like, I don't like drama stuff. This is hard for me. I don't know what to do moving forward. I'm just going to stop streaming and go to Japan even though I was really having a lot of fun streaming. Definitely seems like he's more sad that he can't stream as much anymore without this being a constant topic of conversation more than anything else. He probably bought an expensive camera and IRL streaming setup for Japan and is now mad that he can't use. I don't know, maybe I'm making a mountain out of a molehill, possibly, but it's just horrifying and disgusting to me to have all of these sexual degenerate stories come out about the Twitch streamer community. They seem pretty tight-knit, they collaborate all the time, and just over and over again we get these stories where these guys are over-sexualizing their female peers. Yeah, it makes sense to be horny for women if you're straight, obviously, but the lengths some of these guys go to either shows to me that they're so sexually and socially ignorant that they don't know what proper boundaries are or they're just bad people. Anyways, that's just my opinion. I would love to hear your guys's in the comment section below. I'm also going to be posting all the Twitter reactions to this in another YouTube video, so if you don't want to miss when that comes out, be sure to subscribe with notifications on. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.